Hello, my name is Andrea Campanella from the Open Networking Foundation and today I want to show you a demo of Onos controlling barefoot Tofino P4 capable devices to the P4 runtime protocol. This demo was shown at layer 1 to 3 in The Hague in October 2017 and was a joint effort between the Open Networking Foundation, Google and Barefoot Networks. In this demo, we're using P4 runtime to install on the device both the pipeline that finds up through a P4 program and then the forwarding rules on top of this given pipeline. We are putting ONUS in control of both the data plane and the control plane, enabling network operators to define the pipeline in P4 to exactly fit their use cases and then leverage ONUS to deploy it on the P4 device and install the rules on top of it. To achieve this result, we leverage the new P4 runtime control protocol. P4 Runtime is an open source framework for runtime control of P4 devices developed by the P4.org API Working Group, which ONF is a part of. P4 Runtime is targeted at remote controllers and uses a protobuf definition of the exchange messages on top of the gRPC as a transport. The P4 Runtime APIs are independent of the P4 program loaded on the device, and thus they enable field reconfigurability of the device's pipeline by pushing a new P4 program. To support P4 and P4 Runtime, we implemented new elements in ONUS. We currently have drivers for Tofino devices and for the BMV2 simulator, which run on top of the P4 Runtime-based drivers, which in turn leverage the new gRPC southbound modules. On the northbound of ONUS, we introduced the notion of a pipeconf to bring in the pipeline model, target-specific artifacts, and translation classes. Through the translation classes, we support pipeline agnostic applications that program the pipeline independent rules against the ONOS flow objective APIs. We also have the notion of a pipeline aware application that instead creates pipeline specific rules that fully leverage the capabilities of the P4 defined pipeline. The setup for this demo consists of a data center like leaf spine topology made of four switches that contain the P4 programmable Tofino chip from Barefoot Networks. The ONUS SDN controller manages the topology and does pipeline and rule installation. Google provides the Tor.p4 program that defines the pipeline for the leaf spine topology. The Tor.p4 program is the one being pushed down by ONUS to the device set and inserted on the chip. This demo will show ONUS installing the Tor.p4 pipeline and then forwarding rules to do equal cost multipath ECMP to load balance the traffic between the hosts connected to each leaf device. Here you can see a picture of the hardware setup on layer 1 to 3. It comprises of th two 32 ports Montara devices, two 64 ports Maverick devices, all of which are based on the Burford Network's Tofino chip and a server on top of them running ONOS and the two host processes. Let's now move forward to the actual physical demo. On the top left of the screen, you can see the terminals of the four switches that comprise the leaf spine topology. The top two are the spines and the bottom two are the leaves. Now I'm starting the switch D process on all of these switches. Switch D starts the BFSD process that enables control and management of the switch, loads initial configuration, and starts the ASICS driver. Uh, the switch D process also starts the gRPC P4 runtime server on the device, which allows ONOS to communicate with it. I just want to point out that we are not loading any P4 program into the switches at switch D startup time. This will be done by ONUS. Now we start the ONUS controller. I'd like to point out that we are starting ONUS with the drivers related to the barefoot chip, some pipeline agnostic applications such as the host provider, LDP provider and proxy ARP, and a pipeline specific application, PI Tor, that we wrote for this demo. The PI Tor app includes the pipeline described by Tor.p4 that will be configured on the switches. During the startup of ONUS, uh, it enables all the core services and bundles for it to work and also starts the applications we require. When ONUS is started, we push a JSON configuration to it encompassing the IP port of the gRPC server on the devices and the ID of the pipeline we want to install on the devices themselves. ONUS then goes and opens the gRPC channel to the switches and installs the pipeline to them. When we push the configuration uh, to ONOS, you can see in all the devices terminals the protobuf messages that are exchanged. First, there are the messages for the pipeline installations. Through this, ONOS installs the same Tor.p4 defined pipeline on all the switches by using the target specific binary contained in the pipeconf. Then, 
ONUS also reads entities such as counters and table entries. At this point, we are able to start the traffic between the two hosts we have in the topology. Firstly, ONUS instances installs a set of rules that get all the packets sent to the controller, so it can recognize ARP packets from hosts and inject LLDP packets to discover the links. When the links and the hosts are discovered by ONUS through the LLDP and ARP packets, the PI Tor application recognizes this uh, topology and installs the needed flow rules for the switches themselves. Before going to the ONOS UI, let me show you the JSON configuration we use to inform ONOS about the devices. We give ONOS the IP of the device and the, the port of the gRPC server on the device. Uh, we are also giving the pipeline ID uh, that we are asking ONOS to install on the devices. Here we're giving it the Tofino Tor Montara that contains the compiled binary for the 32 ports Montara device. Let's now log in to the ONOS UI. This will show the topology comprises of devices, links and hosts that we uh, outlined before. We show the hosts by pressing H. Spine and leaves have friendly names that are placed as labels on the device. Then we want to show the statistics of the traffic flowing in the network. We can now see 40 gigabits per second of traffic flowing from H1 to H2 on both of the paths of the leaf spine topology thanks to our Tor application that installed rules and groups to do equal cost multipath. We have a maximum of 40 gigabits per second of traffic due to that being the maximum capacity of the two NIC cards of the server simulating the hosts. We can move and resize the topology around. By clicking on a device, we can see the flow rules that are installed on it. As I mentioned before, we observe several rules. The first three are pipeline independent and are installed by the ONOS core and match on either type ARP and LLDP and as action the packets are sent to the controller so that ONOS can pick up hosts and links. As you might notice these first three rules have a duration that is higher 165 than the following 124. Uh, this is because the first three flow rules are, enable the topology to be discovered and then the Tor app reacts to it. The other four flow rules are installed by the PI Tor ap application to do ECMP on the leaf spine topology. The first flow points to a group that we also installed on the P4 device. Let's now go take a look at these groups. The first group, for example, includes two actions that set the next hop with destination MAC port and source MAC. Let's now have a look at the pipe conf object. This includes the glue code for the translations, such as the pipeline interpreter, pipeliner, or statistic discoverer. These are ONOS behaviors that leverage the pipeline that the Tor.p4 program defines. The pipeconf also includes the binary describing the pipeline for the chip and a JSON file specific for the Tofino device. We can also see the headers, actions and tables defined in the P4 program. As an example, let's pick the Ethernet header. You can see the fields and their bith, width. We can also take a look at the action. As an example, on the punt table we have the set queue and sent to CPU with the parameter QID. Uh, lastly, we can also observe the tables. Let's pick the punt table, where you can see all the possible match fields, their bit width and match type. You can also review the actions that can be taken through this table. As a last element in the PipeConf view, I want to point out that the ID that we have in the PipeConf is the one we use in the JSON file to ask ONOS to deploy this PipeConf on a device. Then, going to the Applications view, we can see that ONOS has different applications installed. In particular, I want you to notice the gRPC protocol one. Then, on top of it, we have the P4 runtime drivers that enable ONOS to understand and speak the P4 runtime control protocol. 
we do also have active the barefoot drivers that encompass specific elements for the Tofino chip. Here you can also see active the LLDP and proxy ARP applications. These two applications are example of the pipeline agnostic apps that ONU supports through the new translation service. While the PI Tor application is an example of a pipeline specific application that depends on the Tor.p4 program we are using. Going back to the topology, you can also see that the traffic is still flowing. We can also go and take a look at the port statistic after selecting a specific device and clicking on the port symbol. In the port statistics, you can see the port counters for all the ports on that given device. Let's now look forward at the work that will happen beyond this demo. The team recognizes the importance of switch configuration. Thus, we plan to support OpenConfig over GNMI to deal, for example, with port management. In short term, we also plan to integrate other drivers in the Onus platform to support different switch vendors and ASICs. In the long term, we want to automate the program-dependent to program-independent mapping and rethink some of the Onus northbound abstractions to enable the full potential of P4. We also plan to leverage the platform we created to develop some new interesting use cases on top of it, such as in-band network telemetry or an optimization of the leaf spine fabric with a fabric.p4 program. We will also explore VNF offloading to the P4 chips. If you have any question, please contact the P4 Brigade mailing list at brigade-p4.org. You can find this demo code from the 1.11 release of ONUS on GitHub with the Apache 2.0 license. The Tofino drivers will come in the 1.12 release. Please download the code and try it out. More information and details about ONUS can be found on the wiki page. Thanks for listening and for your interest in our ONUS and P4 Runtime demo.